This episode of TechZilla is sponsored by GoToMeeting. Time to stop the bull stuff is not the kind of thing you usually hear publicly from a CEO, but it's exciting times at T-Mobile. Merger with Metro PCS been approved by the DOJ. The iPhone 5 is on the way. A new LTE network is rolling out, along with their new all-you-can-eat simple choice billing plan. And they're basically stepping away from the subsidy phone model and telling you, you should buy your phone so you know what you're actually paying for phone service. Sasha. Sasha Sagan, by the way, PC Magazine phone analyst extraordinaire. Sasha, what is up with T-Mobile? Well, T-Mobile, uh, I think they're doing all the right things here. And they've got a new CEO. He actually has energy. He has attitude. He has a strategy. He gets up there in his pink T-shirt and his Alexander McQueen speaker sneakers. And he says to people, well, I feel like a consumer. I feel as frustrated as all of you, as all of you are with the wireless market. And we're going to change things. And uh, so they're making all of these changes. They're all good changes. But what I'm really looking for from him is I want to see a change in T-Mobile's attitude. I want to see them go back to being the cheerful, helpful, great customer service kind of carrier mm -hmm. that they were four or five years ago when you'd walk into a T-Mobile store and you'd say, these are people who are on my side. These are people who get it. That's what they really lost over the past couple of years. And if you look at the surveys, that's what people are really aching for. It, I mean, it's been interesting. I've recently started using Ting, which is the the, the, the Sprint MVNO to 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 replace my my portable modem. The idea of like owning your hardware, knowing exactly what you're paying, or paying less. Um, Laguerre, his the CEO, is quote: "This is the biggest crock of shit." And let me make sure. Um, this is a quote: "This is the biggest crock of shit I've heard in my entire life." Do you have any idea how much you're paying? End quote. And he's the idea is that T-Mobile is going to be the uncarrier. That's their new branding. Well, I don't know if it's the uncarrier because they're <laughs> taking on a lot of the strategies and payment systems that all sorts of prepaid carriers have had for years. I mean, Virgin does this, Boost does this, Ting does this, Metro PCS does this. It's not like it's an unproven model. <laughs> it's just the first time one of the big four did it. Now, the most interesting thing I'm finding in this pricing strategy is their equipment installment plan, where they're trying to have it both ways. They're trying to make it so that um, you can you you basically buy your phone on installments so that you still pay the low upfront price so they can compete on the big posters by saying oh we have this free phone nothing up front but then um, there it's it's not technically a subsidy you're Got just it. paying for the phone over a certain period of time and once you paid for the phone you're not paying for it anymore and then your monthly price goes down and that's something that none of the other carriers are doing that's a big deal so, I mean, what should we talk about next? The iPhone 5 on T-Mobile, T-Mobile bringing their new LTA, uh, LTE network into seven cities, the launch of their true 4G performance. Uh, should we talk about T-Mobile speed? Is it, are they really delivering 4G speed, or the, the mythical marketing term of 4G? Well, so much, so much of this is just anti to be at the table, okay? Mm -hmm. It's obvious you have to have an iPhone and a Galaxy S4 and an HTC One if you want to play with the big boys. Mm -hmm. okay. You're going to have to have an LTE network if you want to play with the big boys. T-Mobile shouldn't necessarily get points for doing things that they just need to do to barely compete and survive, and that's <laughs> what things are, okay? Right. Um, their LTE network, I've looked at the tech specs, it looks like it's going to function pretty well. It'll be somewhere between Sprint's performance and AT&T's performance uh, once it's loaded up. Uh, but the, the, the real innovation here and the real difference they could make are in these pricing plans and in whatever this John Legere foul-mouthed magic does to their attitude. Whether you can walk into T-Mobile or call somebody on the phone at T-Mobile and have it be a more pleasant experience than talking to somebody in an AT&T or a Sprint store. That was the, one of the funny lines from, from his speech was, you know, carriers are nice to you once every 23 months uh, when they want you to sign up for a new phone and kick in the big prices. I mean, in, 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 the, in the perfect world for the consumers, T-Mobile is a success. They, they get the sort of extra, uh, you know, it, it's interesting the merger with Metro PCS, so T-Mobile sort of ratchets up uh, uh, their subscriber base, you know, maybe they can compete. If, if they're the boutique vendor, the cool guy vendor, the great deal vendor, can they possibly force Verizon and AT&T to start coming down in their prices? Well, all the other carriers have said they are eagerly looking at this T-Mobile no-subsidy idea to see if it works. 
and they will jump on it if it does. So we <laughs> see the other carriers move away from subsidized phones and toward these situations where you own your phone, and once you've paid off the phone, your price goes down, and you don't continue to pay extra every month for a phone you've already paid off, which you're doing with all the traditional contract plans. Right. So, just out of curiosity, um, you know, while we're talking phones and comebacks and recoveries and big changes, uh, BlackBerry Z10 came out. What do you think? The Z10 is really nice, and for instance, I love the touch keyboard. It's the best <laughs> keyboard in the industry. But I just look at it and I think it's not quite nice enough to uh -huh. draw momentum away from uh, Android and Apple and the little bit of momentum that Microsoft has, but it's multiplied through the fact, the fact that Microsoft has Windows and Xbox and all this other successful stuff. Um, I just feel like BlackBerry, yeah, they, they've, they've given the rock a push uphill, but the rock's too heavy and the hill's too steep. And it's just not quite enough. <laughs> That's probably, I think harsh but fair might be a, a particularly honest analysis of that. I'm, I'm, I'm curious, you did some early testing of, of T-Mobile's LTE speed. What else is coming up at PCMag.com? Oh, we've got, we've, got, uh, we've got a lot of constant good things uh, up at PCMag. Uh, what I'm starting to work on right now is a big long-term project. It's our fastest mobile networks, our annual test of all of the 3G and 4G networks nationwide. Uh, that takes me a couple of months to work on. It comes out in June, uh, but I like to think of it as the definitive annual test of uh, how good that 4G is out there. It's a pretty, having read it in close detail in the past, I mean, you're looking at running thousands of tests in hundreds of locations. It is an amazing collection of data you get to look at there. Thanks. Yeah, we're going to 30 cities again, scattered across the U.S., driving uh, three cars with eight phones in the back of each car. <laughs> Uh, we'll be uh, testing out and seeing if uh, things like T-Mobile's LTE network live up to these promises. That would be nice. Sasha, can you come back in June when the reports are public? Absolutely. Thank you so much. Sasha Sagan, PCMagazine.com. I should say PCMag.com. I should know that at this point. I used to work there. Ladies and gentlemen, good stuff. Great cell phone coverage. Go there, PCMag.com. Right now, let's take a moment to thank one of our sponsors. When your entire team can get together, it's amazing what can get accomplished. Projects that take weeks or decisions that usually take days are done right then and there. But gathering everyone together from different locations can be time consuming, expensive, and often plain impossible. That's why we're recommending GoToMeeting with HD Faces. It makes it easy for your entire team to get together online. With GoToMeeting, you share the same screen, so you stay on the same page. And the built-in HD video conferencing makes your online meetings just like being in the same room. Plus, it's simple to launch or join a meeting from anywhere using your computer, smartphone, or tablet. Even present from your iPad. Can't wait to start saving time and money at your company? Well, you can try GoToMeeting today for free. Visit GoToMeeting.com, click on the Try It Free button, and use the promo code TECHZILLA. Remember, use the promo code TECHZILLA.